Oil at closing today, 72 bucks a barrel. The oil itself up, well, 46, 47 percent since the beginning mm -hmm. of the year. Let me start with a big, big picture question. Where does oil go from here, certainly in the second half of this year? Does it go up? Yeah, oil really, it's, it's simply a supply and demand issue right now, where supply is expected actually continuing to be low. Actually, OPEC expects that it's going to be below its five-year averages. But we're seeing the economy getting started, people getting out and about. They're going to want, want to be driving and flying. So you have increased demand, less supply. It's going to lead to further price increases in oil, very likely. And this is coming where there is a big push toward clean energy, but we're still really not there yet for infrastructure. So as we are getting out and about, there's still a reliance on this traditional energy like oil and natural gas. And so I think you're very well going to continue to see that rise this year. And it's also a really good play against inflation. So it's really interesting to take a look at oil here and just make sure you have some of that as a hedge in your portfolio it can be a really great idea. So exactly how do you play that? What in particular in this segment or sector, you know, what do you like? What do you advise your investors? There's a fund actually we like to use it's called the Global X MLP and Energy Fund. Um, and it's a nice broad index, which is going to have exposure to many different categories here, plus the infrastructure of actually getting these from one place to another. And what I really like is it actually pays a really good dividend. So it pays about 5.8% of a dividend right now, which is significantly higher than the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. It's going to get you good diversification. And again, it's going to be a really good inflation hedge. Why is there a problem with supply? I thought the U.S. was essentially energy independent. We could pump out as much as we wanted to. We weren't as reliant on OPEC, and OPEC, too, is still pumping oil. Why, why the supply issue? Believe it or not, though, the rigs in the U.S. are actually about 60 percent below the amount that was getting pumped back in 2018. So actually, there's a lot less getting oh. pumped, even with prices getting increased. So whether it's U.S. or a foreign, there is a supply issue that's happening right now. So that lack of supply, again, with increased demand, that's what's leading to the price pressure. And you can't just turn it on right away. So the fact that these things are lower supply, it's going to take a while to um, increase that even once they decide to do so. Got about 30 seconds, Courtney. Do you like anything overseas, any international names that, uh, you know, that you like? Definitely. I'm still really liking the developed markets. A great way of playing that is your Vanguard developed markets exchange traded fund. Mm -hmm. um, just keep in mind, they're at about a 19 percent discount to the S&P 500, pay a better dividend, and their dividends are actually expected to increase here over the next year. So it's a really good opportunity to look for a, a further investment as well.